This is going to be a quick video. Uh, I received this in the mail today. This is a package from West Coast Picks. He sent me some goodies, so here we go. Whoosh. Very nice, sent me some picks. And uh, they were wrapped up very nicely in here. I just squished them back on the top, uh, so he did a great job uh, wrapping these up. And the case itself is kind of funny because uh, he lives in um, Canada and over there um, he sent this in a case that says made in the US and uh, if I were to buy this at a dollar store it would say made in China so I thought that was kind of funny packaged up really nice um, so he sent me two of these wood handle picks one is more of a let's see how am I gonna make these show up a little better So one is a, the one on the right is more of like a gem style pick in about 25 thousandths and the other one also in 25 is uh, kind of like a short or medium hook there. Very nicely polished. Um, I'm not able to polish metal that good. Um, you'd think it would be easy but uh, it's not. And here's the wood on the handle. I like this one more. but I like both of them but I think I like this one more. Um, looks like some kind of, uh, what would you call this? Uh, it's made out of like a big growth on the side of a tree. Um, uh, burled wood. Um, so I actually saw a show about them not too long ago, but, uh, the wood grain is really nice. He polished these up really, really well. I was messing around with this, so it's not as nice <laughs> as when I got it. Um, here's the other one. So this one is uh, a little bit different, the profile. And he also sent me this. Uh, this is a uh, quick pick or slick pick. I'm not sure what he's calling it now. Um, but this was a uh, 3D printed um, handle and has a nice little hook that comes out and uh, a tension tool inside. So here's that, and just to compare it in size, the handle is about the size of a uh, Peterson, maybe a little thicker though. Yeah, just a tad thicker, but uh, the same profile, and it retracts all the way inside. So that's pretty interesting. And it came with a little, little tension tool. And it, and it slides into a little compartment in here. Where does it go? Here. Very nice. And uh, what I was going to do is cut it down so it would fit all the way inside here, but I think I would have problems getting it out. So it comes out a little bit to make it easier to, to come out. I like that. Um, I didn't really think, it, think about it. Um, and here's the other wood. A different type as, uh, as the first one. But really interesting wood grain. And you polish these down. Um, I believe he made this from some kind of feeler gauge. Uh, the steel is really nice quality. It just feels really strong. Um, feels like it's going to last. Uh, although I'm, not, I'm probably not, not going to use these that much um, because I don't want to bend or break them. Uh, this right here is probably the my favorite uh, pick that I have. This is really nice. Um, all the picks that I've tried to make never came out nearly as good as this. Uh, even the profile came out really nice. Uh, and again, I've tried and uh, didn't come out this good. All right, so thanks again, West Coast Picks. And uh, if you didn't check out his channel, um, I'll put a link in the description. Uh, you should definitely swing by. And he has some kind of tutorials too. I, I didn't sit through the whole things, but uh, he has a couple videos on uh, how to do some of these yourself uh, if you're handy, which I'm not. Uh, so you can try it yourself. Alright, thanks for watching and happy picking.